Hi everyone! Today let's discuss one simple rule which can greatly reduce our chance of getting into an accident on the road. It's called a 12 second rule. 12 second rule is one of the most effective ways to prevent motorcycle accidents. What's it all about? As you probably already know, we as humans have pretty long reaction time. To be specific, it's somewhere between 1 and 1 and a half seconds, depending on our conditions, such as tiredness, hunger, age and general health. When you are riding on a bike, 1 second of reaction time can be a pretty long time. For example, at mere 40 miles per hour, in 1 second we can travel roughly 60 feet of distance. I think everyone can agree that in case of some emergency on the road, if you need to stop fast, this 60 feet of distance can make quite a difference. And let's be honest, 40 miles per hour is not a very high speed. A lot of the time we can go much faster, which will result even in more distance covered in one second. So what? It's a reaction time, it's just one of the flaws of our brain we have to deal with, right? We can't really do anything about it, can we? But actually, we kinda can. Not literally, like by installing a chip into our brain or something, but we can sort of shift the initial moment of our reaction. Let me explain what I mean. What essentially our reaction process is? It goes somewhat like this. Our brain gets some new information, let's say it sees a car on intersection, which is about to cut our way. It takes time for our brain to process whether the car is a threat or not, decide on a course of action and then execute this decision. That usually takes about a second or a second and a half. But we can actually speed up the process by shifting three of those steps ahead of time. Instead of waiting to react to the car itself, we can prepare for the possibility of a car violating our right of way. As we approach an intersection, we can acknowledge the possibility, assess the danger and decide to prepare for emergency braking. This means we stop rolling on the throttle, straighten our back, brace against the tank with our knees and cover the brakes. Now, if a car does jump in front of us, all we have to do is to execute the emergency braking, decision on which only takes about 0.2 seconds instead of a whole second. This can save us up to the 48 feet of braking distance at 40 miles per hour, and even more at higher speeds. The main principle of defensive riding is to react to the possibility of a hazard, not just the hazard itself. By doing so, we can be in a much better position to react quickly and avoid accidents. So, what does this 12 second rule have to do with anything? Well, it's actually quite simple. To be able to identify all the possible hazards on the road, it's recommended that a rider be aware of their surroundings at least 12 seconds ahead of them. The distance of travel is measured in seconds times your current speed, because, let's be real, you need to watch further if you are going faster. Now, don't think that you have to stare exclusively at the distance 12 seconds ahead of you all the time, especially if you are in dense city traffic. Rather, it means you should try to pay attention to what's happening 12 seconds down the road. One technique I like to use and teach in my classes is what I call fisherman vision. Imagine that your vision is a fishing rod. Every couple of seconds throw your vision roughly 12 seconds down the road, then pull it back to you with a scanning-like motion. Don't concentrate too much on anything in particular, just observe as much as you can. And if something possibly dangerous catches your eye, like a car that might pull out in front of you or a group of kids on the sidewalk, be ready to react quickly. Make a plan for what you can do if something goes wrong and be prepared to execute it. I know this might sound like a lot of to handle and it may make you feel tense all the time. But trust me, if you give it a try and get used to it, it will become a routine task for your brain and you won't even think about it. You'll just have a much safer and more enjoyable ride. You won't have those moments where a car pulls out in front of you and you only notice it a few seconds later and freak out. 
with the 12 second rule, you'll be able to see 90% of these encounters a few seconds in advance and have plenty of time to react. You won't be invincible, of course, but you'll be much closer to it than your average rider. This 12 second rule technique combines itself wonderfully with the peripheral vision training, which we discussed in one of the recent videos. If we have a good reliable peripheral vision, which we can trust, all this road scanning thing becomes much, much easier task. Our peripheral vision has much wider field of view than our focused vision. This you can see for yourself. Just take any text you want, focus on a particular word, and now, without moving your focus, try to read the rest of the text. Unless you are some kind of mutant, you won't be able to do it. You'll see that there is some text there, but you won't be able to read it. And on the road we have the same situation. We can focus only on one thing at a time. So we have to constantly move our focus from one thing to another without concentrating on one thing for too long. The rest we watch with our peripheral vision. Luckily, it is very good at registering motion. On the road, our peripheral vision becomes sort of an array of motion sensors, so to speak. As soon as they detect some suspicious movement, we are focusing on it with our main vision. We have only just to make sure we can avoid target fixation, then, which is one more reason to train our vision good. And that concludes this video. If you enjoyed this, I invite you to explore my channel for more in-depth tutorials. For those of you who are serious about improving your writing skills, you might want to consider one of my video courses. I offer them for both beginners and advanced writers. They provide a comprehensive, step-by-step -step approach to self-training, including detailed explanations of each technique. All you need to get started is a motorcycle, an empty parking lot and some free time to practice. You definitely can improve your riding skills rapidly if you just spend some little time practicing on a parking lot. Thank you for watching, ride safe and have a great day. Take care and goodbye.